Hello and welcome to TVC News. Reports reaching us from Katina State indicate that 15 out of the 55 people kidnapped during a recent bandit attack on Awurma village have been willingly released. Among them is a pregnant mother and other women with health conditions. TVC News correspondent Abdulatif Yusuf traveled 60 kilometers from Katina to the village. An early morning visit to Wurma community in Kurufi local government two days after the bandits attack. The entire community is still deserted and people are yet to recover from the shock of the incident. The people are afraid to talk on camera and have to wait for the village head to return from where he was temporarily located to. The elder narrates in detail what happened on the day of the attack and discloses subsequent negotiations that have been on to agree on the ransom the community has to pay to the bandits for the release of its abducted residents. It is a moment that will linger on our minds for long. I was awoken by the gunshots all over the town and they came in their numbers, blocking almost every passage. We were under siege and could do nothing other than to pray. They took away more than 55 of our people and most of them women, including my in-laws and members of my family. It was a serious and terrible situation that has made many, including myself and family, to relocate temporarily. Thank God they released some people, including pregnant and sick women. Many of the Wurma people have fled, and some of them are still sleeping in the bushes, out of the fear that the bandits may return. This is the fate many villages that have been attacked along Rugu Forest axis and eight frontline local government face. The state governor Aminu Bella Masari has been tirelessly working to arrive at a solution to the growing and devastating problem in the state. Recently, he hosted a security meeting with the police and other governors to find a solution to the security challenges. There are briefings from the military, from the police, from the SS and uh, from all those concerned. We have reviewed and we are so far satisfied with the progress. We are not there yet, but uh, definitely will be there. And uh, so uh, that's why we have taken over five hours uh, discussing what had happened and uh, uh, planning how to go forward. Residents in the state look forward to when this problem will be brought to an end and the state can achieve sustainable development. Abdul Latif Yusuf, TVC News, Kazana.